Hi, in this video we'll see another type of formatting that is shading. In shading, you can keep on adding different color combinations to your background data, whatever you have. Either you have a map chart, graph chart or bar chart or you have the data itself, anything. Let us see that. So first of all, I'm working in the same formatting file, global superstore, same database and I'm working in the new sheet that is shading part. So shading sheet, first of all, I don't need this all options here. So I'll hide the cards one by one. Okay, that is okay. Now I need some data. So first of all, I'll go to market and I'll bring this order priority at this place. And the third one sales, I'll pick up and drop into this area itself. Now, this is the place which I want. But now before giving this data, adding some colors to it, I want some grand totals. So I'll go to analysis, totals, show row grand total analysis totals show column grand totals and i'll just try to expand it at the bottom so it is easy for us yeah this is done here now let's see how to add the colors at the background for this one so same method you have to go to the format click on this shading and you'll get this shading dialog box that is format shading dialog box now it has three different types of tabs one is sheets rows and the other one is columns so one is the sheet so whatever you apply to the sheet, by default, it will be applied to your rows and columns. Suppose if you want to change the columns or rows, anything specific, you can still change it. For example, right now, if you see, I'm in the sheets, it says worksheet. What color do you want for the worksheet? So for the entire worksheet, I'll select this red color. So if you see for the entire worksheet, the red color is applied. There are two rows which are given as white color. Those are nothing known as banded rows. So we'll keep it as it is. When we wrote this row banding, okay, there is some color which is applied at this place. So I'll just click it outside. That's a background color which is given. So I'll just change the color. I'll change it to let's say yellow color itself. Yeah. Now after giving this yellow color, if I want to change the color of this pane, what is pane? Wherever the numbers are given, the figures, that is nothing but a pane. So I'll click on this drop down and I'll select this green color. Yeah, I'll just select this green color at this place. So the numbers wherever it are written, these are nothing but the pane which are given. Why not remove this uh, alternate banding row which is given. So I'll just select this option from here and I'll select as none from this place. So now the row banding which was given that has been removed. So this is the pane color which is given. I want to give some heading color itself. These are the headers. These are the col row headers. These are the column headers. So I'll just click on this drop down and I'll give some color. Let's say I'll give the pink color. I'll click on this place. So the row headers and the column headers are given the pink color. Now I have selected from the sheets. If I want to modify in the rows, I'll go to this rows and I want to say for rows, I don't want the pink color. I want some other color. So if you see in the rows, I have these headers as pink color. I'll click on this drop down. I can change. I can customize in this place. I'll select this as I'll select this brown color itself. So if you see the row headings are given the brown color itself. Same way, if I want to customize in the columns, by default, whatever I've given in this sheet, the headers, row headers, column headers, everything, it is given as pink color. In the rows, I went and modified the color, that is the brown color. In columns, if I want, I can still modify that color. I'll click on this drop down and I can click on any color, let's say black color. So it will not be visible. Some light color I've given it, right? So that is how you can keep on changing. So the only difference is this is general for everything. This is specific to rows. This is specific to the columns part. At any point of time, if you think these are the applied one, these are the bolts which are applied. If you want to remove everything, you can simply click on this clear button and the formatting will go away. This is one method. The second method is you can click on this drop down this place and there's an option given as clear worksheet formatting. So you can just clear the worksheet formatting entirely, right? That is one part itself. Now let's see the next one. If I have to go to the sheet and if I want to do some coloring part to my total, I can select this total, click on this drop down and I can select this as brown color itself. So you see the grand totals for both are given. Now again, if you are specific that for row grand total, for this rows grand totals should be of some other color, let's say yellow color, you can select this one. Same for the columns, you can do the same thing. For columns, the total should be of let's say green color and the columns total is nothing but a green color so every place you can keep on customizing it again i'll go to the sheets part same for the grand total total and the row banding row banding says alternate rows should be colored so if i click on this drop down drop down if i click on this place 
and if I select as pink color, so every alternate rows are given as pink color, red color, yellow color and so on. Same way, if I want to change the alternate colors for the column banding, I'll select the column banding as red color, pink color, green color. So these are the alternate column bandings. So it's very simple and easy. Now if I want to clear the entire formatting, again the same method. I'll click on this drop down and I'll select as clear worksheet formatting and the entire shading formatting will go away. If you want to close this dialog box, click on this close dialog box button itself. So I hope you are able to understand the formatting that is the shading part. That's all for this video.